everyone. Well, I have a cast iron skillet that I need to clean. I have several cast iron skillets out in the garage and I decided about a year and a half ago, I want to try another skillet. So I bought a skillet, hated it, bought another skillet, hated it, bought another skillet, hated it, it burned, I threw it out the front door, smoking on fire. I had my husband fetch my cast iron skillet out of the garage. Here it is. When he brought it in, I did wash it because it was nasty. When he brought it in, there was cobwebs in it, and there's rust all along here. I'm going to try to salvage the skillet. So I read online, Dr. Google says, that I should clean it with a Brillo pad first. I don't know if any of you are cringing, but I'm going to do that. So I'm going to try to clean all this rust. I could, I could see it. I don't think you could see it on camera, but there's a lot of rust in there. I don't think you could see it. But anyway, you got to trust me. There's rust in there. Trust me. There's rust in here. So I'm going to get a Brillo pad and try to clean this out of here. Right. Welcome to my sink. I'm first going to put down some old towels because I don't want my sink scratched up from moving this pan around. You know, I don't want that to happen. There's the pan. Pan. So I'm going to scrub this and see if I can get any anything out, any any rust off of it. So here we go. Well, I think something worked because that water is all brown. Water in there is like all brown. And as I was scrubbing, it was feeling smoother. So let's rinse this out and see. My Brillo pad's all nasty too. Let's rinse it out and see what I got. Now the bottom has some, I'm not doing the bottom. That's, I'm just not doing that. Well, it's a lot smoother, I can tell you that. A lot smoother, and I don't know about that. I don't know. I can't keep scrubbing this because I don't have the strength. So I think we're just going to go with it as it is. I'm going to dry it out, and I'll be back. Oh, good grief, this is heavy. All right, we're going to dry it out. Dry it good because I'm going to re-season it. And while it's in the oven, I'm going to... I'll show you my other pants that I have because I have one that's like so big it's ridiculous. I mean, it's not anything, it's something, oops, sorry, it's something that we would use outside, I guess, on a fire. I don't know. I've never used the thing. It's too big. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. The pan feels smooth, so that's a good thing. That's a plus. There. That's what we have. So I am going to put some oil in this pan and re-season it. So what I have is Crisco vegetable oil. I don't know if this is the right thing to use, but it's what I have. So we're going to pour some in here. I don't know. I guess that's good. And just get it, coat the surface is really good here. I don't know. That's probably too much oil. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. Should I coat the handle too? Well, I might as well while I'm here, huh? Just get it all. All right, that looks good. It looks good to me. So now we're gonna put it in a 350 oven, which is over here. Hold it, please. In my oven, you're supposed to put a pan under it. So in my oven, I have a big pizza pan in there with holes in it. Okay, that's not brilliant. Probably not the most brilliant thing to put in there. So let me get a cookie sheet. All right, I'm gonna put the cookie sheet on top of the pizza pan and probably have a mess. Probably not the most brilliant thing to put a pizza pan with holes underneath the pan that's gonna be dripping oil. Good move, Michelle. All right, pan. I got the pan. Coated with oil. We're supposed to put it in the oven upside down and I would show you me putting it in the oven but I can't hold two things at one time. So all right I mostly centered that over 
the cookie sheet. I'm probably going to start a fire in my oven. So that's supposed to be in there for an hour. And in the meantime, check out these other big pans I have. All right, let me show you the rest of my skillets. I got this one that's a little bit smaller than the one that I'm trying to season. And then I got this big thing that, shoot, that's heavy. It's got a big lid. It's just a big pot. I probably ought to bring this in the house because it's been in the garage. I probably should season them all and then cook with them. I think that's what I'm going to do. I hate the pots and pans that I have. But then I got this big thing. It's not cast iron. But I wanted to show this to you because I just you just need to see it. Ready? Oh, geez. I hit the ceiling. Look at this. It's huge. It's as big as my body. I don't know. Honey, what did you cook in this? My husband's home from work now. Let's get his opinion on this. What did you cook in this? When I had my camper, I had a fire ring. It's a double truck ring welded together. We used to have family cookouts a couple times a year up at camp. We used to do like eggs, breakfasts. We used to do like um, sausages, flapjacks, pancakes, whatever we want to have for breakfast. We found that at, I believe it was Gander Mountain, sold that. Used it for a lot of there for cooking. We don't have the camper anymore because we had to sell it because it's not comfortable for me with my back. I have a rod in my spine and if you know campers, all the furniture is like miniature and it's just hard to sit in there. It was hard every weekend to go. It was just, it was just hard. It was just hard. And maybe one day we'll do it again when my husband's retired. I'm retired now, so it would be easier. But this thing is ginormous. All right, it's been in here an hour. Let me turn my oven off. My eyes are burning a little bit from smoke. So when we pull this out of here, let's hope we don't have smoke. You know what? I'm going to set a pot holder. I have a glass top stove. I'm going to set some pot holders up here because I don't want to clean grease off my stove or scratch it. So, oh, let's see. Oh, jeez. Okay. It smells like grease. I hope it's not supposed to cool in here because I'm not doing that. It's really hot. Check it out. We'll see. All right. I don't know. I tried. I tried. If I did this wrong, please tell me. Let me let me turn my under stove light on. Or my under stove, yeah. You know what I mean. Let me find the light switch first. Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. All right. Is it supposed to have all those pocket things? I don't know. I don't know. We'll let it cool and I don't Is it supposed to look like that? I have no idea. Hmm. All right, there we go. If I did this wrong, feel free to tell me. Should I have left the pan in there? I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, I will see see you in my next video. Bye.